friends, welcome to my YouTube channel, The Secret of Love. This is an inspirational channel created specially for those who want to make life something special. So if you like my channel, please share. In our previous video, we are talking about the DNA replication initiation in prokaryotes. In this video, we are talking the DNA replication, elongation and termination in prokaryote. Can we start? Before we go into the elongation part, we can go through the initi initiation. Initiation starts from the specific site that is the ORIC site consisting of 13 more sequences and 9 more sequences. DNA protein bind to the 9 more sequences. What will happen? Yes, it will unwind with the help of the helicase enzyme. You can see in this picture. You can clearly see in that the helicase enzyme unwinds the DNA by breaking the hydrogen bonds. Again, I will remembering you. DNA B is the helicase. You can see here helicase completely open up the hydrogen bonds and two strands completely. And from you can see the replication bubbles are seen here. You can see SSB is here. What is the role of SSB? Yes, it prevents the reannealing process. Then what will happen to the next? So primase has built the RNA primer and then uh, DNA polymerase 3 added to the primer site. You can see the primase and DNA polymerase 3 are in this picture very clearly. During the elongation process, another molecule that is the DNA gyrase enzyme. It is the topoisomerase 2 and it, it releases this strain by inducing the negative supercoiling. Then DNA polymerase works on the 5 prime to 3 prime direction and new nucleotides added to the 3 prime end. We know that upper strand is the leading strand and lower strand is the lagging strand. Upper strand synthesized continuously so it is called the leading strand and lower strand synthesized discontinuous manner. Lower strand synthesized in segments called the Okazaki fragments. In the leading strand, polymerase will move towards the replication fork, but in the lagging strand, polymerase will go away from the replication fork. Then what does the polymerase 1 do? It removes these primers and DNA ligase ligates the Okazaki fragments. You can see that DNA ligase ligates the Okazaki fragments. Let's look at the diagram. It shows the leading and lagging strand synthesis. Helicase breaks the hydrogen bonds. You can see that in this upper strand, it goes without any barrier called the leading strand and the lower strand made segments called the Okazaki fragments. And now we can conclude the elongation process here. Next, we can talk about how these getting terminated. This process is done by the and the sequences and the TERS protein combination. TERS means the termination utilization substance. In this diagram, you can see that the TERS ter sites are here. Then left side, five TERS sites and right side also five TERS sites are seen. See the circular DNA. It consists of OREC site where the replication starts in left and right direction you can see in this picture left and bidirectional way in E. coli circular genome is replicated on the left side there are five ter sequences they are ter j ter g ter f ter b ter c sequences that means left side ter j is first then ter g ter f ter b and ter c sequences in the right side also uh, there are five sequences they are a ter a d e i h C. right side sequences are a d e i h sequences in the left the five ter sequences have permissive sequences at the left you can see in this picture the green color is the permissive side of ter 
and the orange color here is the non permissive side the left side two sequences are permissive side at the left and right side sequences are permissive side at the right when the replication fork encounter in the non permissive part it will stop the replication fork and it encounters the permissive end it means it encounters the permissive part of the uh, ter sequences it will allows to go on the replication ter sequences needs a special protein called the ters protein all ter sites bind to the ters protein you can see this picture here replication fork move in the left and right direction when replication fork in the left go and pause in the first five sequences left replication fork goes and stop in the first five replication sequences but in the case of right left replication fork stop in the non permissive part of the c okay you can see very clearly here that left replication fork st stop in the non permissive part of a which means it stop in the non permissive side of the ters a sequences by both action of ter and ters complex the replication halted in prokaryotes i hope you understand guys whether you have any doubt please comment on the comment section i'll surely answer your doubts and next video we will talk about the transcription translation process and also remaining part of uh, replication process thank you guys thank you very much keep watching my channel